Hi! Don't ask why, but I am filming this intro in my truck because it was just the uh, easiest, quietest place. And also, I'm not going to have time to do it later. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't think I'm going to make the time to do it later, so I figured I could just do it right now. I just filmed a quick little decluttering of my makeup that I own. I don't own a ton of makeup, but I just thought it was time to get rid of a few things that I know I'm not going to use, whether I donate them or just throw them away because they're so old. I did one of the two. I realize now I never showed what I ended up keeping, but as I walk through the products, I think I did an okay job of saying... I'm for sure keeping this or it's a maybe yada 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 so I hope you enjoy watching this make sure you give it a like um, subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments anything else you'd like to see I'm just getting started on this journey and I'm just I'm excited about sharing content that you guys like and enjoy watching and you have to start somewhere right so here i am i hope you guys are doing well and i will see you soon enjoy the video hey guys so today i thought it would be fun to just go through my makeup and other makeup products that i have because i have purchased some new products recently and i thought it would be a good idea to just declutter some of the stuff i'm not using so I just have a towel here. I'm filming this in our my bedroom just because, I don't know, the lighting and the fan in my bathroom is super loud, so I thought this would make for a better setup. I have just like, um, just a bag here to throw anything away that's either old, expired, dried out, stuff like that. And then I do have a little box. This is full of stuff right now, but I think I'm gonna use this for things that I would like to donate. I think. What I'll do, I'm just gonna lay this stuff out. Look. you guys so this is what we're working with this is all the makeup I own currently and it doesn't include um, the new products I just purchased obviously I know I really enjoy watching these decluttering uh, videos so I thought it would be fun to jump on the bandwagon so here we go well, we're just gonna start let's see these two palettes are um, old old school. I don't even know if, oh, like, that's probably not the best. I mean, they feel good. Mm. These are really old. I haven't used them in years. I think I got them maybe in college. I have no idea, but it, these are the NYX we have the Sex Bomb and Adorable. Yeah, they feel really like kind of dried out and crispy. So I'm going to just get rid of these. And then, yeah. So uh, going along the lines with palettes, I have a few here. I have the Sephora. I think this was gifted to me. Uh, really pretty colors. I love these shimmers. There's um, some really nice neutral shades in here and this dark color. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Keep. Here's another palette. I got this one for my birthday. The NYX Off Tropic. Really beautiful shades in here. So I'm going to keep that one as well. 
Ooh, Maybelline. I think I got this back in high school. I really enjoyed these little palettes. This is called Natural Smokes. And does it have an expiration? I don't know. That's a maybe. I'm going to put that in the maybe box. Morphe. Ooh, I hadn't bought any Morphe items. And this was like my first one. I think I can get much more use out of this. So I'm going to plan to do that. Really nice palette. Really nice shade. So I'm going to do that one for sure. Ooh, Too Faced Chocolate Chip. I think I bought this one um, because I was in a Miss Minnesota USA pageant. And I hadn't purchased any like high-end makeup. And I'm like, ooh, I heard really good things about Too Faced. So went ahead and bought this. I don't think I'd... I've really taken advantage of it, so I would like to. I'm going to keep that. Clinique, I've had this for years. Simple little palette, really pretty little colors. I like to take this with, like when I'm traveling. I think it's the perfect little size. And that's what I'm thinking for this too. Just having these for my just to go weekend um, little getaways. I like that. Um, any more palettes? No. Um, what I think my eye is gravitating towards now is R powders. Well, no. Let's go with... Let's do foundation next. First up, I have the Maybelline oh, Full Coverage, Super Stay Full Coverage. Really, really do like this, um, this product. I have it in the shade 115 Ivory and 118 Light Beige. I've really enjoyed these throughout uh, the winter time and even now that it's spring getting turning into summer. I really enjoy this product and I will continue to use it. I think I'm still on a mission to find my perfect shade, but I really do enjoy these. So I'm going to keep these. So far I've gotten rid of like two things. Way to go. Um, this L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I've been mixing it with my Superstay just to try to create like a different shade for myself and um, to try to achieve that luminous glowy effect that I've been aiming for so I don't know I don't know if I've given it enough I don't think I've tried it on its own so I can't really um, speak about that so maybe I'll just hang on to it I don't have a ton of foundations you guys so I don't know how much of this I'm really gonna want to get rid of um, Revlon Color Stay Full Cover Foundation Matte. I've used this a few times. It's it's really thick, full coverage, like it claims. Um, I think it's about halfway gone. I think I'm just gonna stick with it. And then last but not least, this is one I've recently tried. I've heard people have raved about this. Cover Girl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I do have really sensitive skin and I'm a little... I'm pretty cautious about what I try because my skin is so sensitive so far like this these don't irritate my skin which is really encouraging because I do like to wear makeup and um, yeah it kind of sucks when you don't you can't find something that works well for your skin I'm gonna hang on to this so I can give it uh, more of a chance I don't think I've done that yet okay next Ooh, this is Glam Glow Glow Starter New Glow Illuminating Moisturizer. I've used this a few times now that summer's coming. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, backing up. These are two two primers. Ooh, three primers. I don't use this. I used it a couple times. Haven't really been drawn towards it. It's the Maybelline Master Prime. Primer and base, hydrate and smooth. 
haven't used it. So, gonna see if someone else wants it. Too Faced Hangover. I love this, and the smell is good too. And then this Tula Skincare. I like these. They both help me nourish my skin and give me that glow. So I'm gonna hang on to these two beautiful products. I'm gonna throw this away. It says Master Camo Color Correcting Pen. It was really fun while it lasted. I overdid it one time, and my eyes looked cray cray. It's like an apricot color to counteract the under eye darkness, and it was fun. <laughs> I think the couple of times I used it, but it was really old. I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, almost out of this. It bye bye under eye full coverage. Love this. Tiny bit goes a long way. I still have a little bit left, but I'm going to use it till it I can't anymore. CoverGirl Olay, the depuffer. I do like this stuff. I don't have much left, but I'm going to use the rest of it. Neutrogena Healthy Skin 3-in-1 Concealer for Eyes. Concealer, eye cream, sun protection. This is almost gone. It's also really old, and I'm just going to get rid of this one. Okay, I've heard great things about this. I don't know if it's... If I just haven't been priming my under eyes well, if I don't have the right shade, I don't know. I'm going to give it, I'm going to continue to give it a shot, but this stuff is thick. And maybe I just haven't been using it the right way. I don't know. I'm going to hang on to it. Yeah, be careful with this one. <laughs> this CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer. Eh, I don't really enjoy this one, to be honest. It's... I think it's drying and it kind of clumps up under my eyes and I think it could be great if you have really good skin <laughs> but that's not me I'm looking for something different so I'm gonna either donate this yeah see if someone else wants it master conceal this stuff really does conceal a little bit goes a long way I'm almost done I don't think I I don't know if I'd repurchase it or not but it really does give me that full coverage that I need and then this NYX, oh, I've been making this bad boy last forever, NYX Dark Circle Concealer. Really nice shade. Fair shade, yeah. I really do enjoy this. I'm going to use it for um, the rest of its life. Not, maybe not the rest of my life, but the rest of its life. Okay, now that concealers are done, let's move on to these setting powders. Airspun, love this loose face powder. Um, I have the shade Naturally Neutral. I believe there's a translucent shade, and I think that's what I had intended to buy the first time I did buy this um, because Casey Holmes uses it, so I wanted it the second I found that. Love this. I think I will repurchase and try to find that translucent shade, but this does a really good job. Um, I purchased this with a friend, Banana. We were shopping. We both saw it. We're like, ah, oh, let's try it. I, I'm going to hang on to it because I'm not completely sure if I gave it a fair shot or not. So we're going to hang on to that one as well. Too Faced, love this stuff. Too Faced, born this way. I think I go to this over this one at times just because of the smell. The smell is a little, um... I won't say a little. The smell is a lot. <laughs> so I tend to go to this one just because I don't have to deal with that. But anyways, we're going to hang on to those powders. I bought this Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This is a powder foundation. And I bought this so that I could kind of tone it down on the makeup. I wanted to just try something a little more gentle. This is way, way too light for me. And I have used it just to pat it under my under eyes. And it has worked well for that. So I'm going to hang on to it. Let's do this next. Uh, this is the only bronzer I have. NYX Matte Bronzer. In medium. Love. I'm starting, you know, I've hit pan. And I'm going to keep using this until it's out. And then I will move on to some other good stuff. Um, blushes. I don't use a ton of blush. This one is Milani Tea Rose. It has done the job, and I think it 
it is a pretty color and then this little mini NARS one I just love having it for if I do travel it's a shimmery let's see it's oh <laughs> NARS orgasm this is the a pretty popular color so I think I'll hang on to that for travels wow guys I haven't really gotten any edit, rid of anything yet Ooh, I do like this stuff um, arches and halos eyebrow eyebrow mute tinted brown mousse good stuff it's all I used it it's all dried out I kept it because I wanted to possibly repurchase it again so I think I might order a new one but this thing is I would recommend I got it at Target so arches and halos I got the color warm brown Longtime favorite, these e.l.f. Um, Instant Lift Brow Pencils. I've tried many shades. I do have darker hair. My eyebrows, hairs are black. I don't want to get a super dark one of these. I go for a lighter one. So I got a neutral brown. I noticed that one was a little too dark and I think warm toned. So it wasn't my favorite, but I used most of it. And then what I've been hooked on lately now is the taupe. It's a lighter shade, but it really... Um, gives me the look that I desire where I can just gently um, fill in the hairs and it gives it's a little more natural and I think that's what I appreciate spoolies on the end great and these things are what I think uh, I don't even know three dollars maybe or they might be more I'm not a hundred percent don't quote me on that got this NYX control freak eyebrow gel I don't really have anything to compare it to so for me I think it's working and I like, I mean, I like how it looks, so I think that's what matters. So I'm going to hang on to that. Um, oh, this is another brow product, Born This Way Rimmel. When I was kind of experimenting with different eyebrow products, and then I finally determined that I like these. I had tried this Rimmel, Born, uh, it's called Brow This Way. Medium brown. I think I need a lighter shade. So I haven't really, hmm use this I think I'm gonna donate it maybe to someone I don't know who but I'm gonna put this in the donation box I need let's see eyeliners I have this elf liquid liner precise if I ever do my eyeliner it's typically with this if I need a wing this guy is the one and it's in jet black this is a sample Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Um, nice to have on hand. I have used it maybe once or twice, and I do like it. Uh, this is a dual-ended eyeliner. This is ready to go. I'm not... I mean, I used it, but I'm not using it now, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This is a Black is Black Maybelline Eye Studio eyeliner Ooh, I think it's dried out but I think I could spray it maybe I can talk about this one it's a Maybelline uh, color tattoo in pomegranate punk it's pretty if I want just like a little shimmer and color and it lasts a long time so go hang on to that what else do I have here? I have a couple of highlighters. This e.l.f. shimmering facial whip. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way, but it's really great. This, ooh, I have quite a bit left of this. I think I got this from a friend, Trace. I don't know, Trace Deek. Trace Deek? So, I like it. I'm going to hang on to it. Lips. I'm not a huge lip person. Lipstick, lip gloss. This one is, I don't even know if you can see. You can see that shade. It's a Kate. Really love this formula. The color is, I don't know. But the shade 113. Really, really cute. I like this color. 
I bought these three colors for um, for my wedding day actually they are the Milani we have plum rose matte naked and Dulce Carmelo really pretty shades that I like I said I don't wear lipstick a lot but I like to have just a few colors to hang on to in case I do need for like a photo shoot or anything like that I like to have so keep those and then I also have this lip liner if I do use lip liner it is typically this one it's East End Snob by Rimmel pretty pretty color and then let's see I don't wear lashes hardly ever the only time I did was for my um, pageant <laughs> well and for my wedding but I didn't I did my own makeup for my pageant these are the Ardell Wispies Demi Wispies in black and then I have some duo lash glue so good to have it I'm just gonna keep this one sharpener for I don't know if I ever need it and then this is the Morphe continuous setting spray it's the only setting spray I have right now so I'm gonna hold on to it but I'm not gonna lie I do not like the smell and I, so I'm gonna use it but after that I think it's gonna be out brother um, my favorite I um, what's it called mascara right now is the voluminous lash paradise by L'Oreal really really good product almost out I need to buy some more uh, this is some mini but I also like the Maybelline falsies great product and then oh I'm funny I said I'm almost out and look at I have a backup so we're ready to go all right you guys that was it for my makeup declutter it wasn't a whole lot but I hope you enjoyed to see me go through this I know I enjoy these types of videos so um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one take care